What is going on, Nitro Sites? It is your boy, the Nitro General here, and welcome back to another team builder in our uh, a subset of a po of our Pokemon Showdown series. So basically, what I'm going to be doing in today's video is I'm going to be going over this brand new team that you can see here that we're going to be using for the foreseeable future in uh, Pokemon Showdown. And foreseeable future, I probably mean for about a month or so around that you know uh diff different stuff diff we're gonna be trying different stuff uh obviously um not everybody likes to watch team builders not everybody really cares about why i picked the things that i did so that is why i tend to do these in a separate uh episode so if this is the first one that you guys are seeing there will be no battles in this video there will be no battles in this video so if that makes you want to click off i'm sorry but i tend to do team builders in a separate video um, that way the people who do care about the teams and everything like that can check this out. I personally love watching team builders because it, it is a learning experience for watching stuff, right? You can understand why people are doing stuff, right? Even if you think you know a lot about competitive, like, I think I know a lot. I don't know a massive amount, like a lot of other people, but I think I know a decent amount, but it seems like every time you, I watch a team builder, it's like, huh, you know, I didn't even realize that. So... You know, you can always stand to learn something, and I might not be the best person to kind of explain this to, but I think I'm a decent teacher at some point. So, yeah. So, if you guys are excited for this, make sure to leave a like down below. Subscribe if you guys are new. We're on our way to 300 subscribers by the end of the year. Uh, currently, we are standing at 159 subscribers. We are almost at 160, guys, which means that we currently only need 141 more people to hit that subscribe button before we hit our end of the year goal, and it's only second month. So, yeah, and leave a like on it, too, guys. Let uh, YouTube know that you guys enjoy the content. Let's me know you guys enjoy the content. All that good stuff. And on top of that, if we can hit our accumulated like goal of 20 likes, then... You guys will have a bonus episode of Pokemon Showdown and a bo bonus episode of the series, of the other series that's going on the channel, which currently right now is Ori in the Blind Forest, which the uh, brand new episode goes up tomorrow. So if you guys are excited for that, make sure you have notifications on and everything like that. But for without further ado, guys, let's get right into this. If you want to check out more Pokemon Showdown, you can head over to the Pokemon Showdown playlist on the channel. So... Uh, in this video, I'm going to be going over uh, why I picked a certain Pokemon, um, why I picked the stats, the abilities, the moves, the items, all that good stuff, so you guys have something to reference back to when uh, you uh, are watching a future Pokemon Showdown things. Now, obviously, if I change anything between episodes, um, I will let you guys know at the beginning of the Pokemon Showdown episode that we're going to be doing. Um, Obviously, if we if I decide that, huh, I don't think this move is the best, better on him, I can do something else, I will let you guys know um, in that video. And a few things are subject to change um, throughout. I tended to not like to change anything about my team, but in that last team that we did, we ended up switching out Swoobat for Rose Raid, and I think that ended up working out really well. We had another episode where we changed some moves up a little bit, so from time to time, we might have some stuff changing to kind of... Um, help with that kind of stuff. But yeah, so the first member up on this team is actually the second returning member that we have used, right? Uh, actually, we're, because we used Slimy Slime for the second time on the last team. Was Slimy Slime on the same? No, Slimy Slime was not on the same team as this one. This guy was on the first team that we ever did on Pokemon Showdown, right? So, everybody, please uh, welcome back Shadow to the team. Shadow the Dragapult. And he is running a much different set than I had in the last one, I believe. I believe, no, he's not running a, a super different one, but he's running a different one, right? And this one, he's got Draco, Meteor, Shadow Ball, Thunderbolt, and Quick Attack uh, with the Infiltrator ability and the Spell Tag. So basically, Spell Tag uh, gives me more damage on Ghost Type attacks. Um, I thought that would be kind of cool. We'll be doing a crap ton more damage with Shadow Ball. Um, the only thing is, is that it only helps with Shadow Ball, and that is it. So, I may... Does he actually get Shadow... He doesn't get Shadow Sneak, does he? Does he get Shadow Sneak? Because I might get go over that with over that in Quick Attack. Uh, let's just check quickly, because I don't... I just want to make sure, because there's a good... So, let's try Shadow Sneak. Uh, does he get Shadow Sneak? No, he does not. So, we're going to say Quick Attack. I didn't think he did, but yeah, so basically, um, the spell tag only 
powers up Shadow Ball, which kind of sucks, but at the same time, um, at the same time, it, it's going to be helping, right? We may end up switching it, um, but the thing is, is that last time I did this, I ended up running Choice Specs, and I thought that, and that ended up working out really well. How, uh, however, you you get locked into one move, right? So you come in and you can only go for one move, and it's a little it's a little annoying from time to time. And I do think that uh, Dragon Pulse benefits from specs, but I also just kind of wanted to try spell tag. At first, we will be um, okoing a lot of mons, like uh, I would say Spectre Air, but I believe Spectre Air is actually banned from Double Zone U right now, so nobody can actually use him. Uh, which means that that is a massive threat that is gone because uh, we will be out speeding and I believe we would have been Okoing with Shadow Ball, but um, this helps with a lot of other Pokemon, but we may end up switching it to Choice Specs. Oh, we'll just have to see. Draco Meteor for good Dragon type st uh, stab damage, doing a crap ton. Uh, now, I did decide to run Thunderbolt over Flamethrower. Um, we may end up changing that, but at the same time, I think that... Um, It'll be really, really good for certain Pokemon, like flying Pokemon and stuff like that. Also, so I think Thunderbolt is what we're going to go to. It also has a 100% accuracy, so uh, that might be better than the Flamethrower, who does not have 100% accuracy. And then Quick Attack, I think it's good for priority. I do know that not, I have not seen a Dragon Ball ever run Quick Attack, and we don't have a ton of priority on this team. I think we have priority on one of our other Pokemon, and if that Pokemon goes down, then um, it is nice just to have Quick Attack, right? Because if something goes for a Focus Sash, right? It's shell Smash, uh, unless it's Poltergeist that goes for the Shell Smash, you know, um, that goes down to one HP with the Focus Sash or something like that, we can always just come in and Quick Attack it. Uh, obviously, Poltergeist being immune to Quick Attack, but that's really not the point. Um, Infiltrator lets us ignore um, Reflect, uh, Light Screen, Aurora Veil, um, Substitute, all that good stuff. I don't believe it does protect. I, yeah, okay, so it doesn't, um, <clears throat> safeguards, stuff like that, so that's, that's pretty nice, it allows us to hit through that kind of stuff, so, um, we don't really have to worry about that, now his stats here, he is, uh, a modest nature, which is plus special attack, uh, minus attack, he has 252 EVs in speed, 252 EVs in special attack, and four, the remaining four in HP, um, if we ever live on one, then that four HP EVs l allowed us to live on one. But I don't know if that'll ever happen. But basically, I just want him to hit as hard as he can and be as fast as he can, right? That's like the whole point of Dragon Ball. Um, Dragon Ball is one of my favorite Pokemon. Um, I think he's awesome. My two favorite types are Dragon and Ghost. So seeing a Dragon and Ghost pseudo legendary was so cool. I think he's a dope. He's based off a of stealth bomber. So, so cool. I had to bring him back. I think he's really, really good in the metagame right now anyways. Being able to hit a lot of things super effectively or just hit it hard. But, yeah. So, that is the first member of our team, Shadow the Dragon Ball. And coming in next is Max Attacka, Stack Attacka. Lincoln Log is the Stack Attacka. Now, this is a Pokemon that I've wanted to use for, for a bit, but... It's always like, I don't, it's always like, uh, it, it's, it's kind of hard, right? It's kind of hard to use. Um, obviously we have, it is very, very bulky in the defense category, but this special defense, I mean, it's not awful, but it, it's not great, right? So if we hit, if he hits us with like, uh, something hits us with uh, a focus blast or something like that, we're pretty much o code. Um, but I think this is going to be a good, I think this is going to be a good member for the team. Um, now he does, he does have Iron Head, Body Press, Rock Slide, Steel Roller with Beast, Boast, and the Leftovers. I may end up switching Leftovers to something like the Assault Vest. I don't know, depending on if we keep getting O-Code by certain attacks. This is definitely the most expendable member here. I may end up switching him out, but I really, really wanted to use that attack, right? And, uh, yeah, so he is running Iron Head for Gut Stab. I was going to run Gyro Ball over Iron Head, um, because it does more the slower you are from your opponents, and Stack Attack is, is very, very slow, but I think Iron Head might be better just to, but I, I actually may end up switching that. 
I'm not sure. We'll end up seeing later if I'll end up switching that to Gyro Ball. Uh, the only reason that is is that in, I don't know if it switches it in Trick Room, right? Because then they're faster. They're faster in Psych Attack and he'll be much slower than them, right? That'd be really good in Trick Room. I don't know. I don't know how that works, but I think Iron Head might be better just for the reliable damage. Then obviously we have Body Press, which uses the defense stat as its attack power and his attack. Uh, Defense that is through the roof, so Body Press is going to be doing a lot, a lot, lot, a lot of damage. Now he has Rock Slide to hit both slots for super effective damage, or for stab damage, I should say, with Rock Slide. I think that'll be great. Of course, it gives it a chance to flinch. It does have that chance to miss. I think it's like, what, 85% accuracy versus 75. Oh, it's 90, right? Wow. Okay, it does, definitely doesn't seem like 90 going against it, but... And then I threw on Steer Roller too, because I think this would be fantastic to use. Um, the Tapus are very popular right now. Very, 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 very popular, right? So any of the Tapus come in to set up a terrain, or even Rillaboom to come in to set up Grassy Terrain, we just, even like in DD with Psychic Surge, we come in with Steer Roller, going to be doing a crap ton of damage, and we'll get rid of the uh get rid of the uh the terrain too so i think that's really really good i have not seen that tech used very much and i think that'll be really good it also even if it's not super effective we can go for it on like a rillaboom or something that way just to get rid of the grassy terrain to get rid of his grassy like uh, uh priority and stuff like that i think that would be great uh leftovers obviously just for the reliable recovery i think this is going to be great i think lincoln logs would be absolutely busted if it got stack attack would be absolutely busted if it got um like a healing move i don't even know what you would give it right you probably wouldn't really give it recover would you but i don't know i think that'd be awesome then it's uh stats here are it is a adamant nature with plus attack minus special attack with 252 EVs and HP, 252 EVs and attack, and threw and I threw the four remaining four into special defense. Like I said, if we encounter a lot of super effective special type moves that are doing a lot of damage, I may end up switching it to the assault vest. But at the same time, I don't think that might be totally necessary right now. So I think this is, I think Max Attack, Stack Attack is going to be doing, it's going to be putting in the work. But he, 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 we never know, right? This might be the most expendable one because I have not seen a ton of people use it. And um, I have really never had the chance to use it before using it on this team. So but yeah, the next Pokemon up on this team is one of my favorite Pokemon of all time, and that is Frozone the Weavile. And I am super excited to use this guy because this is going to be awesome, right? Weavile is fast, hits hard, I think it's cool, I love it. Obviously, it's running Fake Out, Triple Axle, Ice Shard, Night Slash with the Pickpocket ability and the Focus Sash. Now, I will tell you why I ran Pickpocket here in a second if you guys can't guess it. Obviously, Fake Out is really good for making it so they can't attack on the first turn. Triple Axel is going to be doing a crap ton of damage since before this, the only ice type move that was physical that Frozone or that Weavile ever got was like Ice Punch and that really was like 65 damage so it wasn't great. Now he's got a super awesome ice type, physical type move that's going to be doing a lot of damage. Ice Shard for priority and Night Slash again for stab damage now he is running the focus sash so if he does end up going down to one health that uh or if he was going to go down to one hit that would save us it will also allow us to switch him back out and make him come back in for a death fodder or to even revenge kill with fake out or ice shard uh now the pickpocket thing i think is going to be really really good the only thing is is that if we accidentally pickpocket like a choice spec or something like that but basically if uh um, I make contact with the Pokemon, I have a chance to take its item. Now, obviously, that doesn't work when we still have the Focus Sash. But because the Focus Sash is a one-time use item, once a Pokemon hits us, get rid of... Get, blah, 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 Pokemon hits us, brings us down to 1 HP, gets rid of our Focus Sash, well, we can have the chance to steal their item, which would be nice to get rid of a Life Orb from something, right? Then Frozone will be doing Life Orb damage. It'd be nice, even if we did something along the lines of like a, a choice band, even that would be nice to take. Or leftovers, or something like that, I think would be pretty cool. Now, his only other ability is pressure, and I feel like Pickpocket 
is going to be doing a little bit more than be doing better than pressure anyways but that is my thought process there if you guys think that pressure is better let me know but i do think pickpocket would come in handy sometimes i think it'd be cool now his stats are he is a adamant nature with a plus attack and minus special attack with 252 evs in speed and attack in the remaining four in hp so just like drag Bull, if he ever withstands on like one hp after he uses his focus stash and it is due to that but the 252 in attack is going to be making him so he's going to be hitting insanely hard and the 252 and speed is going to be making him so he's like blistering fast, right? I feel like this he's going to be really, really, really good. I really like Frozone. Now, I've tended to see these run more on hail teams than anything else, but at the same time, I really wanted some, I really wanted to use Weavile, right? I've wanted to use Weavile since it came out in the Crown Tundra. Like, did it come out in the Crown Tundra or was it? I believe it did, but I just, I love. Weavile in general, I think he's just such a cool Pokemon. So um, I am, I'm really looking forward to, to trying this Mon out. Now, next up is actually a Pokemon I haven't really thought about using very much until recently because I was looking for a Water and a Fire type to put on this team, and then I found a Water and Fire type. So I was like, huh, let's try out Volcanion. So here is Geyser. The Volcanion, guys. I think this guy's going to be putting in a lot of work. He is running Steam Eruption, Fire Blast, Earth Power, Focus Splash with the Water Absorbability and the Choice Specs. Now, I have told you guys this in the last few videos. I am absolutely terrified of Dracovish right now. There was an insane surge in the p amount of people using Dracovish in recent weeks, in competitively. He, uh, it has come out in a lot in a lot of the battles. Now, luckily, in our last team, we had Storm Drain Gastrodon, which basically made it so Fish's Ren was basically immune, but we don't have that on this team, and there is not really any Pokemon on this team that wants to take a Fish's Ren from a Dragovish, so I decided that Volcanion was good, a lot along the lines of being fire and water type hitting hard and stuff but also he gets the water absorb ability which basically is kind of like storm drain in the fact that if you are hit by fish's friend you don't take damage from him, right but the only thing is is that storm drain pulls the water pulls the move in doesn't matter which slot they target it pulls it into gastrodon and then heals Volcanion, I have to switch this out into the specific Pokemon that it's targeting, right? If we if we switch it out with the wrong Pokemon, then it doesn't matter. But instead of raising my special attack, um, I get healed. So did I say that Storm Drain rose or healed me? I meant grow, grow special attack, right? I get um, health back instead of that. Now the other Pokemon that does get the ability Storm Drain is Cradilly. But I didn't feel like Cradilly really fit very well on this team. And it is not a great Pokemon in general. So I decided not to go with that. Choice Specs is going to be, I think, is going to be good. Being able to hit Stings for super effective damage. Now I am running Steam Eruption for Stab Water type damage. Also has a 30% chance to burn like Scald. Fire Blast for good Slab type damage. If we keep missing that, I may switch it to Flamethrower. But at the same time, I think it's going to be doing much more. It is going to be doing much more damage than Flamethrower. And we just have to worry about the uh, accuracy, which is like 75, I believe. And then Earth Power, I think, would be cool since we don't really have um, a ground-type Pokemon here. And it does kind of suck since there are a lot of good electric types right now. But I think Earth Power is going to be good to hit a lot of those. And then Focus Blast, I think, will be pretty cool, too. Um, since the only fighting-type moves we have are on Stack Attack and are on Zero Aura. And um, neither of them do stab type damage. Neither does this one, but I think it'd be good just to have it. Um, I think it'll be good like if there's a T Tar or something and the T Tar wants to go for a Stone Edge or even like an Earthquake or something, we can even go for the Focus Blast on that, uh, being four times effective, but we'll, we will have to see. So that's fucking in here. His uh, stats are. He is a modest nature with plus special attack, minus attack. He's got 252 EVs in HP, 252 in special attack, and 4 in special defense. Just because his special defense was a little bit lower. I didn't feel like throwing the 4 into the speed. But uh, yeah, so he's going to be hitting as hard as he can. He'll be trying to stay around as long as he can. Um, unfortunately, he doesn't get a healing move. But at the same time, I don't really think he needs one. Obviously, he can't be shiny because you can't 
get a legitimate shiny ball canyon right now i don't believe because something like that i don't know but it wouldn't let me do shiny so which it's shiny is pretty cool i'll show you guys it's shiny here if you've never seen shiny volcanion that's shiny volcanion i think it's cool but we can't run it because showdown won't let us so that's volcanion guys with volcanion i think he's going to be putting in a lot of work too being able to be really good on um water type teams and we, we have a fire type that is not actually weak to water type it's neutral but it's not weak to it so that's that's good next up on the list is a pokemon that i've been wanting to use for a while but um and anytime i've went up against it it's been extremely scary and that is black bolt the zera aura now he is running plasma fist close combat fake out bulk up with the volt absorbability and life orb so basically this is going to be a really really good pokemon right life orb allows him to hit as hard harder than he actually than he already can and the volt absorb allows us to basically get hit by an electric type move and heals us basically like water absorb but for electric pokemon so i think that'll be cool um he's running plasma fist for stab damage close combat i think it's going to be doing a lot to a lot of good pokemon too fake out allows us for um potential to kind of not actually have a pokemon do damage that round as long as it's not a ghost type same with uh frozone with fake out i think that'll be good we could even run double fake out potential if we need to with both frozone and black bolt and then bulk up which i think will be really good because it raises our defense and our attack um so i think that'll be really really cool he doesn't get sword stance unfortunately so but i do think bulk up will be allowing us to do it because he doesn't have the best defenses right he's he's frail -er, but he hits pretty hard so yeah and his stats are he has 252 in attack 252 in speed and i threw the rest in hp with an adamant nature plus attack minus special attack right so he'll be fast getting as hard as he can all that good stuff through the rest into hp just to stay around i guess a little bit longer if possible but I don't really see that ever happening. But yeah, that is Zero Aura, the Black Bolt Zero Aura. I think he's going to be a really, really, really good addition. Now, the last member up on this team, guys, is Pixie the Clefable with its heavy duty boots, its unaware nature with Moonblast, Toxic, Softboiled, and Knockoff. So, this is basically like the most standard Clefable set you will ever see, right? This is like what 90% of them run. So. Obviously, heavy-duty boots, so we don't have to worry about toxic spikes. We don't have to worry about sticky webs, or not the sticky webs are really going to matter, uh, and stuff like that. And Clefable is, is is a pretty good Pokemon, I would have to say. Unaware it makes it so we can hit through Protect, right? Is it Protect? Uh, oh, no, no, it ignores um, the stat changes. Why? Why did I think it was something else? Why did I think it was something else? But yeah, so we don't have to worry about them. Like if they went for a... That way, like if we fight another... Uh, fucking Chansey like we did in that one video. Where they hit really, really... Where they let it get super overpowered with like defenses. We can uh, just go for Moonblast and not have to worry about the defense races. And then Toxic for... Um, Toxing obviously move off your staff. Soft boiled for healing, which is nice because we get low, we just soft boiled it off, and then knock off to get rid of items. And it'll be good for against certain Pokemon, anyways. But I think knock off will be good just to get rid of a Pokemon's like choice band or choice specs or choice scarf or something like that, even like a life orb to some extent. So that is Pixie the, the Clef Able. Its stats is it's a modest nature plus special attack, minus attack. With 252 EVs in HP, 252 in special attack, and I threw the remaining four into speed. So, yeah, that is the team, guys. A quick recap of the team here. We have Shadow the Dragon Boat coming back with Draco Meteor, Shadow Ball, Thunderbolt, Quick Attack, Infiltrator, Spell Tag. We have Lincoln Lungs to Stack Attack, a Max Attack to Stack Attack. With Iron Head, Body Press, Rock Slide, Steel Roller, Leftovers, and the Beast Boost ability then we have frozone the weavile with fake out triple claw, triple claw, triple axle ice shard night slash pickpocket and the focus sash 
Then we have Geyser the Volcano with Steam Eruption, Fire Blast, Earth Power, and Focus Flash. We have Black Bolt the Zero Aura with Plasma Fist, Close Combat, Fake Out, and Bulk Up. And last but not least, we have Pixie the Clefable with Moonblast, Toxic, Soft Boiled, and Knock Off with the Unaware ability with Heavy Duty now that is the team we're going to be using for the next month or around a month or so with this team so if you guys are excited for this make sure you leave a like down below let me know if you guys have any changes or anything um down in the comments right because i definitely will check those out if anybody says hey i think it would be better if you ran this i will take that into consideration and i know it doesn't mean much but if i end up switching it out i'll even give you a shout out in the video and just be like hey you know, this guy told me I should try this. I think that'll be better anyways. I didn't think about that. So thank you. So again, let me know anything down below if you think I can change some stuff for the team. If there's anything that you guys think I should change in general with the channel, let me know down below because I can't fix anything I don't know that I'm doing wrong. So, but if you guys enjoy this, slap a like on it, subscribe, all that good stuff. If you want to check out Pokemon Showdown, more episodes of that, you can head over to the playlist and make sure you have notifications on because the first video where we use this team will be going up on tuesday so that is gonna be it for me guys like i said at the end of every video i am the nitro general i really hope you guys enjoyed and i will see you in the next one peace